Welcome to my cosy corner of the internet. I'm Maya Starr and today's article is titled Indigo Children. Your questions answered. A Maya Starr energy healing article. This article looks at what indigo children are, why they are here and what they are here for. We discover their spiritual importance, powers and unique challenges during physical incarnation. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing and share this page with your friends. Listen to the end for my recommendations for your next step. And because your engagement really helps me out, if you like, share, subscribe or comment today, I hope and intend that you will be blessed with bountiful beneficence this week. May brilliance, beauty and abundance abound. And now, let's explore. Indigo Children your questions answered. A Maya Star Energy Healing Article. What are indigo children and when were they born? Indigo children are spiritually advanced humans that have incarnated on Earth as part of their spiritual mission. They have been incarnating since the 1970s and incarnated with increasing frequency up to the 2012 harmonic convergence that heralded the start of the golden age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius will be 2160 years long and represents a time of radical shifts for humanity as old paradigms break down and new systems arise that are based on higher spiritual principles, love, and freedom. In 2012, our sun moved into a dark area of the Milky Way called the Photon Band, along with the primary star of the Palladium constellation, Alcyon. This alignment marked the moment of transition from the old age to the new age. The 30 years either side of the harmonic convergence saw an increase in the number of indigos incarnating. Most indigos alive today were born between 1940 and the year 2000. Indigo children have chosen this time of accelerated growth to incarnate as part of their spiritual development journey. Some are here simply to witness the revolutionary changes or to document them through art, music or writing. Others are here to offer support guidance and healing to assist the process of global ascension. They are the priests and priestesses of the new age, and I count myself among their number. The services, support and encouragement I provide through the courses I teach, the Maya Star website, social media, podcast and YouTube channels is part of my calling as an indigo. Not all indigos' lives of soulful expression will look like mine. Indigos excel in professions that require compassion, empathy and sensitivity, so they're often drawn to work with animals or as carers, therapists, counsellors, nurses, doctors, advocates, charities, teachers, especially of young children, and all artistic or creative professions. Indigo children are those we would consider free spirits. They don't have a need to fit in with others or seek approval from their peers. They're content to go their own way and their boundless curiosity means they're always going somewhere, researching something and discovering new opportunities for spiritual growth. Many indigos are neurodivergent. For myself, my spirituality, magical ability and creativity is expressed and greatly enhanced by my autism. Both autism and ADHD are common diagnoses for indigo children. What are the common traits of indigo children? Some of the common traits have been discussed above, but generally speaking, indigo children are identified by their continuous connection to the unseen realms. They are very much in this world, but not of it. They retain a strong connection with their spiritual side throughout life and tend to be very sensitive, empathic and compassionate. They have deep connections to animals and nature. Indigos often experience a great deal of trauma because of their natural energetic sensitivity. 
Learning to navigate the world while retaining their spiritual connection can be a challenge, so they're often drawn to spiritual practices like meditation, yoga and energy healing as a reaction to their emotional, mental and spiritual pain. Indigo children tend to be very creative too, and their creativity helps them to explore and process the challenging experiences they face while navigating the temporal realms. Maintaining their connection to spiritual planes means indigo children are uniquely vulnerable to the risks of being ungrounded. Grounding our energy is very important to maintain our energetic integrity and natural protection. So indigo children need to focus on this skill in their early spiritual development. A lack of grounding can result in vulnerability to psychic attack, which often comes from other people rather than from spiritual entities. Those centered in ego consciousness can deplete the energy of indigos that haven't learned to protect themselves energetically. Do indigo children have special powers? Yes. Because of the connection to the unseen realms, indigo children demonstrate deep empathy, enhanced intuition and psychic awareness, channeling abilities, healing skills and astral projection. For myself as a child I found astral projection great fun, but as I got older and the skill developed, I had to face the challenge of learning to stay in my body. It didn't come naturally and a lot of my early magical work was centred around managing my gifts. But not all indigos express their soul in that way. Other indigos may experience extreme emotional connection and empathy. Their challenge may be learning the skills to manage their emotions, control their thoughts and establish routines and rituals that support their needs. Some may have psychic awareness that presents its own challenges as they learn to switch their ability on and off so as to not be constantly overwhelmed by an abundance of input. My point here is that yes, indigo children do have special powers but they are skills and abilities that all humans have access to. For indigos they are more developed and potent and while that's great, it also means that indigos face unique challenges in a world where they are likely to be parented by non-indigos and be surrounded by mostly non-indigos throughout their lives. They can feel quite isolated and lonely until they find their spiritual tribe and connect with others on the same wavelength. But there's good news. The difficulties they face due to their special powers might be insurmountable for non-indigos, but as an indigo, those same special powers hold the key to their healing and progress. The gifts that create the problem also have the potential to create the cure. For example, those with a gift of empathy can begin to heal by focusing their empathy on themselves. The same for healing and intuition. It can take a while for an indigo to address their healing needs. Sometimes they just need to learn to be a little bit more selfish for the sake of their health and well-being. But once they begin the healing journey, they also find connection with others like them and develop their self-esteem and confidence in navigating the world in their own unorthodox and non-conformist ways. What energy healing systems are good for indigo children? There are a number of courses I'd recommend specifically for indigos. Lemurian Indigo Connections, Archangel Gabriel's Empath Encoding, Light Sanctuary Activation, Kuan Yin's Compassionate Heart Healing, Pleiadian DNA Clearing and Activation, Archangel Michael's Sapphire Flame and the Violet Flame Attunement. If you feel drawn to pursue your spiritual path and progress your healing journey with energy work, you can find these recommendations and over a hundred attunement-based energy healing courses available on the MyaStar website at www.myastar.net. I provide individual support by email for all students and personally prepare all attunements using the Orb of Life method, which allows my students to receive them wherever they are in the world. 
I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you're leaving this video suffused with good vibes and great ideas. On this channel I share my week ahead spiritual guidance and mystical musings for the collective, meditation soundscapes and energy healing articles to inspire and uplift you on your spiritual path. Why not take a moment to peruse the rest of this channel to discover more of my energy healing articles and relaxing meditations for some additional spiritual sustenance and magical motivation. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll find a great video recommendation for your next step in the cards at the end of this video. You can also follow me to receive daily spiritual guidance on social media. You'll find links in the description of this video for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, podcast and more. Links to all my latest offerings can be found on the Maya Star website at www.mayastar.net. I upload inspiring spiritual content for you three times a week, so please come back soon. With blessings.